Welcome back, everybody, to Hearts of Iron 4. My name is Redwall. Thank you all for being here as we keep this USA run moving. Um, quick note before we launch off. Actually, in the uh, first video of the series, um, someone named Lazy Idiot of the Month, fantastic username, by the way, dropped some really good advice um, down there. So if you're curious in more uh, technical advice that's not just me bumbling around and trying to figure things out, then definitely take a look at that. Um, one thing he mentioned was that infrastructure actually gives us more resources which i just had i had no idea <laughs> that worked that way so that makes me uh certainly feel a little dumb um and then we could really boost our like chromium and steel production just by bumping infrastructure all the way up everywhere so i'm gonna get those uh, uh infrastructure construction queued up all over the country and i do know the infrastructure builds quicker than all this stuff um you also mentioned we don't need this many civilian factories and i think we have 221 i think he's probably right at this point we can probably stop constructing them all right so there we go we got max infrastructure queued across the entire country and most of our territories um and that should help us out a lot with our resource situation um, that being said, it is 1941, January 1st. Uh, we are going to get stuck into the war very shortly. Um, so let's just hit play and let's get into it. We have 255 political power real quick. I want to get some of these guys going. Let's get Eisenhower in there for our military staff. Insufficient resources. Uh, Australia. Australia is not delivering the steel they promised. Let's go ahead and just cancel our trade deal with Australia. Um, oops, no, come back. And buy more from the UK until our factories uh, finish producing our infrastructure and boost our resource situation. Um, great, that all looks great. Right, that's right. We got this stuff going. Finished our Mariner plane. Let's go back into industry because it's 41 now. We can go this way. Oh, two days. Very nice. We'll have that radar done. Great. Nuclear reactor. Can't do that yet. That's okay. We will get there. I'm going to also go ahead and start building more military factories. So we can mass produce tanks. I think I'll build some more fuel silos as well. Ooh, finish the computing machine. Just the fact that we can increase our resources by building infrastructure means that we don't need so many civilian factories to trade for resources. Oh god, I forgot we lost the, the midterms there. Oh, let's try to wrangle back support in the house. Nice, we can drop our marines there. Very well, very good. Take those guys, join the Marine Corps. We'll ship these guys down to uh, Honolulu. All right, it's time for us to start training more infantry. I think train in blocks of six. Let's train them in blocks of eight. Train them down in Charlotte. Because we are going to need them uh, sooner rather than later. Check in on our Navy here. We have a cluster of destroyers and some more subs. That's excellent. Um, real quick, let's pause. I'm going to make a new sub force down here in the Pacific Theater. So we'll take all the, the USS Tuna. Beautiful. Um, we're <laughs> we're going to take all these subs and go like that. So what are they? Seven? Sub force seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sub force eight. Good for you. Um, and switch them out for a little submarine icon. I like it. Nice. Duck in Virginia. How are these guys doing? They're still training up. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll take these destroyers and we'll throw them in Strike Force 2. Oh, nice. All right. We got the Cypher for Vichy France finished. German Reich, for some reason, we're not. I thought we finished that already. That's okay. We'll keep that. We'll keep that going. God, we're building so fast now, though. I love it. 
cool. Finish uh, the support rock island situation. Hit a quick pause. Uh, what can we do now? Tank experiments? Yeah. Let's do that. Um, and then in four days, the submarine hull finishes. We're going to switch over to researching that uh, 1941 heavy tank. Um, so that when we start building our tank divisions, we'll jump right to the next tier of heavy tank. So let's jump over to armor, and then here we are. Yeah, let's get this A1 going. Then when our national focus finishes, that speeds up tank research. That should... Uh, the research time should go down dramatically. Great, we got that improved fire control system. Advanced fire control system. Yeah. Great. Oh, yeah, so we're producing so much infantry equipment now. We need to uh, produce more light tanks, it looks like. That's easy enough. Get them up to 15 eventually. I think that should be fine. How many heavy tanks do we have in storage? 975. We're killing it. Finished more radar. Let's just keep that rolling. And then once that finishes, we'll upgrade all our radio... Uh, radar... Radio? <laughs> Radio, radio stations? All our radar stations to the highest level that we can. Now, Japan is going to declare war on us pretty soon. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in another video, but the Pearl Harbor event uh, is not actually in the game anymore. Um, so that what they'll do is they'll declare war on the Philippines. And since the Philippines are our puppet, that will... Um, we can create our own faction. That's cool. We'll be automatically engaged in war with Japan. Unfortunately for Japan. Oh, we're we're getting we're getting the house back. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Uh 148, almost to 150, we can get another thingamajig. Ah, the Tizard mission. The British government has sent a scientific delegation led by Henry Tizard with an interesting proposal. The British are willing to pool their research efforts with ours in several key areas that do not have... As they do not have the industrial capacity to produce their inventions in great enough numbers. Uh, what can we do here? Let's aim for long-term cooperation. Yeah. Help them out. Help them out. Oh my god, look how fast our military factories construct. Just like that, our infantry shortage is almost fixed. So I think we've got 20 factories on that now. I think that's good. I think that's good. Because what are these guys waiting for? Light tanks, right? That's the only thing. So we'll get those up to 15. Should that be enough? Maybe we'll bump it to 20. Let's, we'll start with 20 and we'll go down uh, if we need to. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Uh, let us... I think it's time for us to start training our paratroopers. So let's get that done with. Where's our national focus at? It's getting there. Great. We can get uh, another one of these. What do these do? Select ship designer. Naval research speed plus 15%. Holy shit. They all do that. Oh my god. Maybe we should have done this earlier. This is armor and hit points. That's deck size and range, but negative armor. Visibility and speed. Oh, that's huge. And this is production cost. But, uh, mixed down on deck size. I think I'm going to go Brooklyn Naval Yard. I think that's what I'm going to do there. Dope. Finished our dispersed industry. Keep that rolling over here into construction. And then I think after we tap out that construction, we'll go down the excavations. We are not going to join the allies yet. We're going to wait till we're at war. Dope. Finished our fire control system there. It looks like we're tapped out on 41 tech. So let's go over here and hit that assembly line our production efficiency increased nice we finished tank experiments that just dropped down to 68 days that's fantastic get the army of the united states rolling here 
fill out the 15th sub in that force. We'll take them off naval exercises for just a second. Um, because I do, I do want them down in Hawaii. In fact, can we take the entire Pacific fleet? Get them to Hawaii, please. Oh, that's right. Research. Finish out, uh, oh wait, where are we on the Navy? Uh, da, da, yes, we need these things. We need these things. So we'll do that so we can build super badass boats. And you can see the infrastructure is actually just flying by. We're building it very quickly. Which, a lot of that has to do with the fact we have so many civilian factories to work. Um, but also, the United States just gets a buff to that, I believe. Yeah, new deal. Infrastructure construction speed, plus 20%. Definitely something I've been neglecting. Uh, so, we finished our paratroopers. I'm gonna build uh, some more military factories once again. And I'll stagger them out with our infrastructure. Because we can, we can really just build so fast now. I'm gonna build some dockyards too. Because as soon as we finish those, uh, produce those ship variants, um, after we get that naval tech finished, I'm going to start just cranking out carriers. And then over here, let's get this half-track car. And, ooh, our land doctrine's almost done. Dope. Keep that going. Uh, so this is a choice. Air land battle, shock and awe. I am going to go centralized fire control. I want that soft attack um, versus the hard attack and the recon. This is tank stuff. Armored cars, soft attack, hard attack, breakthrough. That's org plus five, though. That's pretty good. I'm going to go this way. How's our recruitment going? Oh, these guys are great. Ooh, paratroopers. We can make some paratroopers. Uh, let's edit their template a little bit. Their combat went sixth. Don't I don't like that. Let's see if we can get them to at least ten. Can we do that? Yeah, and add an engineer company. Yeah, I like that. That's a good place to start. Save that. Recruit some paratroopers. Um, where did we want them? Yeah, I mean they can be anywhere. Trade them in Richmond is fine. How many can we do? What's our special forces cap looking like these days? Five? I think five. We can take five. Start with five. That's fine. Put those guys back on naval exercises. Oh, Christ. The non-aggression pact between Germany and the Soviet Union, a surprising development to begin with, has now, less surprisingly, fallen apart. Germany has attacked, breaking the pact and returning to once again openly speaking of the Soviet Union as a menace that must be faced for their visions of the future to become reality. Soviet leadership is less than pleased, but perhaps less shocked by the betrayal than disappointed that they didn't seize the opportunity first. So the German Reich has declared war on the Soviet Union. That's no fun for anybody involved. Um, we can take them off exercises. Looks like they're good. Yeah, that's, uh, that's no fun for anybody. I don't want to do that. Let's take some more planes out of storage. Ooh, what's this? Shipbuilding in New England. Yeah, absolutely. That's like free support. Uh, like I said, I take... Uh, can I speak today? I don't know. That's a real... <laughs> ah. We're taking these planes out of uh, storage. Except for the transport planes. Uh, then we're going to take this fighter group. And we're going to send them down to Guam, where we built that airfield. Um, as well as this medium bombardment group. Dope. Finish that heavy tank. That's excellent. Um, da -da -da -da. So we'll take these guys and we'll switch back over to our navy. And we will start producing this guy can we create a variant main gun yeah we can just make the main gun stronger 
Let's do that. We're going to bump production up to 30 there. 30 on light tanks and on heavies. I think that's fine. I think that's appropriate. Dope. Army of the United States. What should we do now? Uh, Build the Pentagon. Oh, there it is. Japan has declared war with the Philippines. The United States of America is at war with the Empire of Japan. <sighs> Deep breaths. It's war time. All right. So for things first, this is the war screen. The Japanese-Chinese war. Um, you can see these are the people. These are the belligerents right, on either sides. We're not in a faction. This is the Chinese United Front. This is their faction. This little sword, cross sword icon, indicates they're the only faction that we need to knock out. Um, other wars will have multiple of these. So those nations all need to be dealt with before you can force a peace conference, essentially. Um, these are their two allies. They're going to get called into the war in short order, I'm sure. Um, and you can see China, 4 million dead. Or casualties, at least. Ouch! China's getting hammered. Japan's lost over a million, uh, but China lost four million. The rest of the Chinese United Front also getting hammered. <sighs> so when it comes to the Pacific Theater, what we first need to do is establish naval dominance. So we have all these guys. Um, first things first, let's... So we're going to use our, our, our strike force, our scout force, and our sub forces all for different things. Um, but there's one thing we have to do immediately, and that's adjust uh, this button. Click to enable automatic reinforcement. So that means that, um, and then we'll take our reserve fleet and move it to the Pacific Theater so that the reserve uh, boats will be reinforced from... So that the, the Pacific Theater fleet will be reinforced from the reserve fleet. Um, what this button does, you can see it creates a number there, so when a ship is sunk, hopefully it won't happen very often, um, that number will go down and it'll be out of the total, and then they'll pull a ship automatically out of the reserve fleet to reinforce said task force. I'm going to turn on automatic split off so that if a ship is too banged up, it can diverge from the fleet and go repair. Uh, and then repair priority, we're going to put on medium. And engage at high risk, because we want we want to sink their shit. So we're going to put our strike force on strike force. And then we're going to right-click on uh, these naval regions to sort of assign them the operating regions. And you can see the color indicates how much uh, naval supremacy we have. Which is uh, not a lot <laughs> to start off with, huh? Solomon Islands, we'll do that. Basically, you want to just be able to cut off all their convoys, so we can see these little lines of their, uh, of our convoys and stuff. Um, what we have, I don't think we'll have to worry about the North Emperor chain up there. I think this is a pretty good starting section for, for our ships to operate in. Should we do the Pacific Line Ridge too? I, it can't hurt, right? Um, so our, sh our, our strike force is on strike force. And that means when an enemy fleet is located or engaged in combat with us, our big death stack will sail over there and hopefully sink all their ships. Sub forces, uh, we're going to put on convoy raiding. And I'm going, so I'll do that for all of them, and I'm going to do the same adjustments up top that I did for the strike force. Great, we got them going, and then we'll take our scout force, and they're going to do... I'll do this too. Um, they're going to do exactly what everyone else is doing, and then we're going to put them on always engage. Because if our scout force finds an enemy navy and engages, our strike force will be able to catch up, hopefully. Um, and we're just going to put them on patrol. There we have it. They're patrolling. Beautiful. So there we go. Um, our, our Pacific fleet is now operating in these assigned zones. You can see we really have no naval supremacy down here whatsoever, but that will hopefully change as we begin to sink their fleets. 
Let's take a look at the planes we sent down to Guam. Did they not get there yet? What? Man. To Guam. Arriving August 2nd. Okay, well, they'll get there in a in a moment, and then I'll, I'll deal with those. We're going to take this army off of exercise so that their organization will go back up to the max, um, and they can brace themselves. They're all regulars now for any kind of uh, combat that will ensue. I don't think we have to worry so much about our divisions in Hawaii being attacked. So what we're going to do with them is we're going to establish a blitz strike on the Marshall Islands, basically. Um, and we're so we're going to... How about... Can I talk? <laughs> it's a challenge for me today. Um, we're going to take our divisions and we're going to begin preparing naval invasions. So you can do it in a big block of guys or you can do it one division at a time. The more divisions that are preparing for a specific invasion, the more, uh, the, the, the larger the number of days it's going to take to prepare said invasion. So we're going to do it one division at a time, because we have that luxury. So we're going to just hit this naval invasion order, selecting the 7th Marines, left click on Honolulu, right click where we want them to land, and then very, very important, hit the enter key, and that will lock in the order. You can see the little red exclamation point is gone away indicating that they have their orders so i'm going to do that uh all across the marshals with these six divisions in hawaii great so we have those naval invasion orders all locked in and you can see it's going to take them seven days to prepare and they all are going to reserve two convoys um you can see we need naval supremacy uh in the regions to carry out the invasion. So I actually, I do need to add the Hawaiian Ridge to their operating zone. That's great. And right now, so Eastern Micronesia, that's the place we're gonna be battling for naval supremacy. And the minute we get to 50 or more, we can launch our naval invasions. So we've got that set up. We've got our Navy operating where they need to be operating. Once we take the Marshall Islands, uh. I'm going to, we'll see how things are looking, but we're probably going to have to ship some guys over to the Philippines to resist an invasion, and we'll juggle these guys around and hopefully wipe out all these, the Caroline Islands, right? Yeah, wipe those up. Just try to eradicate the Japanese domination of this region. What's going on over here? Before I hit play and everything goes to hell, uh, we're still 32 days on our shortage on light tanks. Come on. Guys, what is this? Tom Foolery. Oh, we're gonna we're we're gonna be okay. Plenty of construction going. I'll stagger out our military factories a little more with our infrastructure. I'm also gonna take our naval bombers. Uh yeah, naval strike, port strike. I'm gonna take these guys and I'm gonna send them down to Guam as well. And we should actually expand that airfield. Why not, right? And we'll move that all the way up. Um, radar? Can we up our radar? We can. Ooh, up to level 5. So we'll do that. Because the radar is going to be very important for commanding the skies uh, with, our, with our planes, essentially. We'll get that up there. <sighs> Alright, deep breaths. Are you guys ready? July 24th, the war has begun for the United States of America. The second I hit play, naval combat is about to just start popping off all over the place. So brace yourself and we'll kind of work through things as they pop up. And it's beginning! So there we go, Japan has called their allies in. Naval invasion in the Mariana region. So we have uh, a couple of different icons to look at. This knife, this blah blah, this naval invasion button will pop up if you think um, if the AI is going to basically if they're plotting to send yeah not get not aggression with China if they're planning to send a naval invasion your way. So we've got this little warning that the Japanese are planning to strike Guam. That's not too surprising. We have our first and second marine divisions there. We have level two coastal fort right 
Um, I think we're going to be okay. I, I think we're going to be okay. This little button pops up when there's naval combat happening. And you can click it, and it'll take you to where the naval combat is happening. You can click on the button there, and that'll show you um, the details of the naval combat. So the naval combat screen. So we have two submarine forces. It looks like we sank one of their convoys by the USS Blackfish. And now both of our sub forces are pulling away. They're disengaging. Um, and then over here... Oh, that's a, that's a fight. We got some cruisers, early cruisers. We lost a sub so far, sunk a convoy. Um, and then it looks like, yeah, our strike force is on the way to hopefully sink the rest of their cruisers. So these buttons are going to pop up just constantly. We have to try to... Uh, well, we have to pay attention. Um, but once we... Once we sink their navies, then we will be able to stop paying attention as much to those. So what's going on here? Come on, boys. Get out of there. Disengage. Oh my god, we lost six submarines. Eight submarines? No! Go, go! Get out of there! Okay, their cruisers are fully committed. The submarines are making a heroic sacrifice. Get there, Navy. Get there. Oh, they're not gonna get there. Oh, God. And so then... Oh, my God! We lost 18 submarines. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, and they're still chasing them down. No. Oh. So this is what... Uh, you'll get one of these buttons that pops up. And if you don't want to, like, click on it and have it take you around to all the things, you can see the little just victory thing that pops up there. So if, it, all they, if they all say victory and they're all convoy battles, you don't really need to look at them. Um, but over here, we sunk a convoy. It looks like that's their big battle force. We got two heavy cruisers. No carriers, though. Oh my god, that's soul crushing. That's soul crushing. Uh, we're gonna get these non-aggression packs with the rest of the United Chinese Front. So we're sinking convoys. Okay, there they are. Found them. Yamamoto with his big old battle force just wrecking our submarines. You, sir, need to you need to come down here. Come on. God damn it. Lost a sub. Okay, put you back on the strike force. Oh my god, there they are. Three aircraft carriers. Our strike force is actually... Oh, they're there. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna get them. Sink their carriers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they're trying to escape? No, oh, no. Engage. They fucking ran away. How are we doing on naval supremacy? Looks like we can... Yeah, 100%. Wow. Okay. So now we can tell... Uh, we can just click this green button. And that's going to tell our marines, or whoever the division is, to carry out the mission that we've uh, planned for them. So now that I've hit this button, our marines are going to sail out of Hawaii and land all across the marshals. Jesus Christ, another four submarines. Five. How many how many fucking men have we lost in the subs? None? <laughs> oh okay. Uh whatever. I'll take that. How are these guys doing? Just fine. Um now that we have our, our heavy tanks on the next variant there, we can start training our heavy tanks. Because next year, we're going to need to drop them into North Africa. Uh, we'll just train them in Richmond. It's like my army HQ. We'll train them in uh, groups of four. I think that's fine for now. Enemy has air superiority. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
Psycho Destroyer there. You're going down there. I'm so mad. We saw their their carrier group, their three carriers, and we couldn't we couldn't get there in time. It's tragic. Okay, so it looks like our planes have arrived in Guam. That's excellent. So for some reason, I'm not like totally sure why uh, the the fighter groups they work best in groups of a hundred. So I'm gonna hit this button reorganize air wing um oh actually it'll be easier if we just do this 166 yeah we'll take them off pilot exercises <laughs> and now we need to assign them jobs so we're going to give them interception and air superiority and we're going to right click on the regions we want them to operate in so mariana and the bismarck We'll do two in each. Then we're going to take our naval bombers, take them off naval exercises, split them in two. Um, and we're going to tell them to do naval strikes. So try to bomb the enemy ships. And again, split them up between the Mariana and the Bismarck. Jesus, we're, we're hemorrhaging submarines. Oh, dear. So this is the air superiority screen. It shows you that in the Mariana region, um, before I just assigned our planes, we have the enemy carrying out missions, and they have air superiority. God, our subs are just getting hammered, though. We need to take out their, their battle forces. And we will. Um... It's just kind of a it's, a, it's an attrition game in a way. And we have to, we basically have to lose some subs uh, in order, in order to pull off our victories. There's their fucking carriers. Where, where's our strike force? They're headed up there. Let's tell these guys to disengage. That battle will be over and then they'll run over and hit their carriers. We can only hope. What's going on? Oh, shit! Battleships! Okay. So they have a carrier group up north and battleships down south. Our strike force is moving to engage. Okay, we're cleaning out those. Very good. We sank a bunch of their light cruisers and destroyers that were harassing our subs in the north. Oh my god, our submarines! Go, 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 go. That's there. Yes. Okay. Get there. Get there. Yes. We got there. Fucking go. Sink them. Sink them. Sink their fucking carriers. They're retreating. Oh, we got a battleship. That's a big cruiser. Oh, they're pulling out. Oh, my God. Look at them go. 26 destroyers. <laughs> okay. We lost four light cruisers, nine destroyers. And a smattering of airplanes. We sunk 27 destroyers and three heavy cruisers, as well as six light cruisers. That is a naval fight. That is a fucking naval battle. Oh, getting planes shot down over Iwo Jima. Another four subs down. Okay, that's a little skirmish. A little skirmish out there. Ooh, we sunk some cruisers over here. That's awesome. Okay. <sighs> Deep breaths. So, yeah, our sub force is just getting absolutely hammered. Um, they're all about half strength. Let's take this extra sub force, take them off naval exercises, and throw them in the Pacific Fleet. How are our Marines doing? They're good. They're landing in their... Uh, desired islands. Looks like an unopposed landing. That is good for us. I'm waiting on that naval invasion. Come on now, boys. Okay, what do we got going here? Hey! Where are their goddamn carriers? Okay, good. Construction. Construction. 
Ah, unassigned divisions. Looks like some people popped up. Very nice. So that is the first of our a new army. I believe. Yeah. Great. So we'll make this the second army corps. Um, and we need a good infantry commander here. Bradley is fantastic. Brilliant strategist, engineer, harsh leader, cautious. We'll make Bradley in charge of that second field army in Eisenhower's group. Um, he can be the diamond division. We'll make him the four leaf clover. All right, sinking more destroyers now. Ah, oh, three planes shot down over Guam. Oh, we fucking got them. Get those carriers, boys. Don't let them escape. Don't let them escape. Don't let them escape. Sink the bastards. Lost a sub. Bring them down. Oh my god, they got away and we just lost a shitload of planes. I guess they lost more planes than us, but... What's killing me is that their carriers are keep getting away. Uh, more infantry is done. Give them to Bradley there. Who's... Yeah, okay, just be done then, would you? Great, thanks. Uh, we have 157. Let's get uh, experience gain, convoy rating. And then, no, let's do this. A carrier, air, air agility from carriers. That's what we want for sure. Oh, it looks like, what are we missing in production? <sighs> Naval bombers. Okay. Uh, I mean, carrier. Close air support. This guy, right? Yeah. How's our military factories doing? Oh, fine enough. I'll stagger more up the queue. We're starting to run out of oil, uh, too, now, with all of our navy and planes going, so I just built some more, um, fuel silos. And they should finish... before we run out of oil. Okay, here they are. Uh, no, that's not them. Well, that that's a big chunk of ships, but... It's not their carrier group. Let's do this. Goddamn destroyers. Oh, here's a here's a nice clash. Here's a nice clash. Sinking cruisers and destroyers. We should be able to just wipe this navy. This battle force. Yeah. Hell yeah. There they go. Nice. We sunk a bunch of cruisers and destroyers. Well, not that many cruisers, but we sunk some ships. Okay, sunk some more uh, ships. Not enough, though. Where are their fucking carriers? Found them! <laughs> we got them! Sunk all three of their carriers, sunk their carrier group, and sunk their light cruisers. You can't run forever. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We've. Oh, fuck yeah. Deep breaths. That feels so good. I cannot express. Nimitz, you're getting a goddamn medal for that. Um, so now that we sunk their carrier group, I believe all that's left is their battleship group uh, floating around out there. And as soon as we track them down, we'll make short work of them. Yes, sir. Now instead of more naval invasions, we're going to take this little paintbrush and just like it's Microsoft Paint, click on these orders to delete them so we can set up new ones. And just kind of repeat the repeat the process here. And we're going to move from the Marshall Islands into the Carolines. Okay, they're all good. They're going to take a little while to uh, get that ready again. What's going on over here? Uh, convoy. Convoy. Show me your battleships. It's like uh, our planes, they're just doing constant skirmishes and dogfights over here. Couple, couple more destroyers down. Amelia Earhart wants to enlist. Absolutely, get in here, Amelia. Fucking 
ace pilot. Okay, we're just now uh, eradicating their convoys across... Hey, the Pentagon's done. Japan declared war on the Dutch East Indies. Oh, dear. Port strike. Uh-oh. Is this button indic... Uh, no. There it is. Port strikes uh, are when tactical bombers target... Or strat bombers either target your ports or you target enemy ports. Um... And it looks like they're coming after our base in Guam. I think the real only, only best way to stop that is to take their airfield in Saipan. Um, but let's wait. We'll wait uh, to push there until these Marines have finished out that set of orders. Need a new national focus. Uh, da -da -da. What should we do? Maybe... Let's do this. Women's Integrated Armed Service Act. Something of the sort. How's our recruitment going? Very well. Uh, we're going to recruit... Oh, we can recruit more than... Nice. Let's get some more paratroopers. Eight? How many paratroopers can we research? Ten? I'll take that. I'll take ten divisions of paratroopers. Beautiful. Tanks are producing. That's great. Infantry. They're really just waiting on light tanks, right? Yeah, they'll fill out, though. They'll fill out. And you can see this submarine sailing off the East Coast. They're going to go reinforce uh, Submarine Force 1. And that's just showcasing that button working as it's supposed to. Oh, oh boy. All right. World War has come to the Pacific. Everyone's involved now. Tell the Marines to go. I just want... I'm hungry for their battleships. Oh, speak of the devil! Ace pilot promoted. Nice, we have more ace pilots. Come on, come on, sink that ship, sink that battleship! Get out of my face, get out of my face! Ooh, we got him, we got him, we got him! Ah <laughs> Oh my god, I'm geeking out, this shit is dope! That's like I think I was saying in the very first episode, uh, Denmark, yeah. We, sh we should, we need to just join the allies, um, ask to join faction, here we are. <laughs> How, the, like, the feeling, the sheer feeling of, of pulling off a victory, of sinking an AV or getting an encirclement with ground troops, oh, bummer, three, three planes down, uh, it's just, like, one of the best feelings I cannot express. Okay, dope. Called arms from the UK. Except. So now we are officially in World War II. Japanese Chinese War and German Soviet War. We are in the war all over the place. As you can see, we to win this one, we need to capitulate Germany and Italy. Uh, versus this is just Japan. Oh, what's happening? Oh, Shang Z's gone. Lost a fighter, but sank a convoy. I mean, it's fine. What's going on over here? Just convoys. Okay, our Marines are done doing that. So we're going to erase these orders. Uh, Senator from Hawaii. Sorry, we're not doing those under, under the table deals. Set up more naval invasions. All right, I'm also going to pull the 5th and the 6th off of Midway. I don't think we have to worry about an invasion of Midway right now. Um, let's move them over to Wake. And let's tell these two guys, these two divisions, to prepare to hit Marcus Island here. And the 1st and the 2nd division... get ready to start pushing on Saipan. Actually, instead of moving them to Midway, or to Wake, I'm sorry, let's reinforce Guam. There we are. Alright, so we've pretty much secured naval dominance in the Pacific. Uh, we've sank their carrier groups, and we've sank their battleships. 
And oh my god, it makes me so happy. But um, yeah, we basically have that locked down. So now we can start to... Nice, so many ace pilots. We can start to kind of... Uh, not ignore, but just like pay less frantic attention to the naval combats that are popping up. Because we know we've already sunk all their main battle forces. Um, we don't really need... Well, I'm sure they might have one or two more. We don't really need to worry about it. Nice, nice. Oh, here, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's activate the intel bonus from knowing Japan's cipher. And that's gonna help us out a lot. We can actually go over there now. Let's click on them. Intel ledger. Can we see how many ships they have? They have 11 task forces out there, five fleets, so they still have six battleships, three battle cruisers out there, 13 heavy cruisers, so they still have a lot of ships, actually, but they don't have any carriers. <laughs> we fucking sank all their carriers, and that is the most important thing, uh, obviously. So as soon as 9 out of 14 days, wait a couple more days, and then we'll launch those naval invasions. Oh my god, so many pilots. Okay, cool. We got that half-track built. Uh, what can we do here? We have to wait till 42 for all that. Uh, let's, so maybe let's take a look at our doctrines again. Yeah. Um, oh, and then we can decipher another country. We're actually going to re-decipher Japan's uh, encryption after we finish the intel. The 30 days that, that the intel is helping us. Alright, these guys are ready. Launch. Go. Strike. Great. Unopposed landing. Cool. More research. Uh, battleships, fuck off. Taking advantage of French weakness in the light of struggle in Europe, Japan has coerced the new government into surrendering control over the colony in Indochina. Japanese troops have already moved to occupy all the major bases in the region. And experts fear that the colony could be used as a launching point for future military expeditions. So that's over here. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Oh, geez. Now they have a double front on China. Oh, dear. Well, we're going to do our best to prevent that from continuing. Oh yeah, research. Keep that naval doctrine rolling. Okay, there they are. That's their fucking, that's the rest of their capital ships. Those are all their battle cruisers. We're gonna force them out of port when we take the island and then our strike force can just wreck them. Go, 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 get there, get there. Uh, got them, fucking got them, sink that shit. Eight destroyers down, nine destroyers down, twelve destroyers down. Oh, there they go. There's our fucking cruisers. Yeah. Oh, we got their fucking battle cruisers. We did it. <laughs> Sunk by the USS Nevada. Oh, man. Fuck yeah, boys. Uh, so now if we look at Japan's um, intelligence ledger once again look at their navy oh yeah okay well, they still have some capital ships out there um but we're whittling them down we are whittling them down god that was awesome let's hit saipan Ready. we're gonna hit saipan in force four divisions We're also going to hit Yap in force with four divisions. Ready to move. And we're going to try to take Palau. Is that all our Marines? No, we have the... Four. Oh yeah, these guys up in Marcus. We're going to hold off on Iwo Jima for now. But I think they're... They're chilling there. They can hang out. So this button will pop up very low supplies when, in fact, you have very low supplies. 
Um, so one way to do that is to increase the ports so you can get more supplies into the region. I mean, to fix that, I, I should say. Or you can just move the guys out of there as fast as possible, and that's what uh, we're going to do. See, our ships are starting to break off now and go repair. Iceland joined Axis. That's the wrong move, Iceland. Why'd you do that? So let's actually do something else, too. Let's, uh... Now that we're in the war in Europe, let's take our Atlantic fleet. And let's get them on some convoy raiding. Try to help out as much as we can up here. Um, and then we'll take our strike force. Put them actually on uh, strike force, not convoy raiding. Oh, port strikes. Oh, ouch. They're striking. They're just bombing the hell out of us down here. We need to take that airfield. How How is the air war going? Uh-huh. Oh, nice. So we shot down uh, one plane yesterday, downed one with anti-air, disrupted 32% of their operations. Looks like we outnumber about 2 to 1 in the skies in the Mariana region. And we have complete air superiority on the Bismarck. That's fucking excellent. You guys ready yet? One more day? Go. Strike. Oh, they sank two... They actually sank two destroyers in our port. That sucks. We're hitting Saipan. We're hitting Yap and Palau. Unassigned divisions. Who are you? The paratroopers are done. Huzzah! Uh, da -da -da. Eisenhower's army, right? Okay, paratroopers. Oops, no. No, 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 no. There we are. Uh, here we have the airborne. Call them the airborne, because that's what they are. Airbone. <laughs> airborne. Um, let's give some somebody... Anybody have commando? Yeah. Mr. Patch, sir. You are our new commander of the airborne. Thank you very much. Are we really getting an unopposed landing in Saipan? They, only have, they don't have soldiers garrisoning their airfields? Fuck yeah. I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. I thought we'd have to shoot our way in. In light of their previous successes in obtaining uh, the return of lost territory, the Hungarians have now demanded that Yugoslavia return the... Vovodina. As the Yugoslavs try to find a diplomatic solution, Hungarian impatience has already become more and more clear. And should the Yugoslavs reject the demands, it is unlikely a peaceful solution will be found. Well, fucking shit. Wow, uh, I can't believe... I'm really kind of confused about the fact we just took Saipan that easy. Uh, but I won't complain about it. <laughs> Let's, uh, guess just, just ground out there, please. Can you do that for me? Thank you. Same with Palau? There's no... We don't have any troops in Palau? Wow, we just took Palau. I really can't believe they just left these islands undefended like that. I mean, don't... I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> but... That's, uh, we got quite fortunate there, I think, I should say. Here. Whew. Okay, nice. We can research the next stage of landing craft, which is going to be able to... Just going to up our naval invasion capacity uh, significantly, um, essentially. It's like a convoy in the Bay of Biscay. Let's move Patton down to Norfolk. It's December 5th. Um, we, what do we, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Um, da -da -da. I think we hit Iwo Jima. We hit Iwo Jima, then swing over to Taiwan, and then we can have to start aiding the mainland. I think that's a good plan. We'll hit Iwo Jima with four divisions. I do expect them to have some guys there. These guys, you can... You can head over to Saipan and then head down to Guam for some R&R. &R. Ireland joined the Allies. 
Good job, Ireland. Nice. We're just starting to really harass, uh... Wow, look at our... North Africa's hanging in there just fine. Wow, look at that. Maybe we don't even have to invade North Africa. For research slot, uh, keep our industrial stuff going. Nice, new national focus. Um, let's just expand the Marine Corps while we're doing it, while we're at it. Nice, these guys have consolidated Palau. Okay, the Philippine Sea, we need to wrangle air superiority. We have a 200 airplane capacity in Palau. Can we take some fighters? Put them on air superiority, interception over the Philippine Sea. Oh, dope. The rest of our, our planes got here. Um, this medium bombardment group, we're going to put on naval strike over the Philippine Sea. These guys... Can we... Oh, yeah, we can put them in the airfield in Manila. Go over there. That, that's good. I like that. We can take one of our fighter groups. Yeah, and also send them to Manila. Let's do that. I like that. Oh, Bulgaria has joined the Axis. Wait, I don't want all of you in the Philippine Sea. Some of you still have to operate in the Mariana region. Nice. Okay. Let's do this more ground cruise. Um, good, good. We have air superiority again. Are we good to go, Drusa? Yeah, yeah, strike. Landed Iwo Jima. Sank three destroyers. Jeez, the front over here is crazy. Wow, unopposed landing in Iwo Jima. They have all their forces in the mainland, huh? This is nuts. Finished excavation. Keep it going, excavation. Wow, just like that, guys, it's December 31st, the end of 1941. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. I'm very stoked on where we're at. We took some crushing sub-casualties early on. But anyways, so yeah, we, we took some, some crushing submarine losses early on, and our sub-forces are all rather depleted. Probably do some merging up of them uh, in a little bit here. Um, but then we managed to dramatically sink the Japanese battle forces, and island hop all the way through the Marshalls, the Carolines, and Palau. Um, we hit Saipan, and Iwo Jima, surprisingly. I'm pretty excited about the fact that we were able to take Iwo Jima without the loss of life. Um, I doesn't usually happen that way, in my experience. But that's awesome. Next year, we're going to keep pushing and try to do something to relieve the bleeding in China. And we're going to also get stuck into Europe a bit. It uh, looks like... Free France, honestly, is holding their own rather well in North Africa. It looks like there's a little chunk in Tunisia that needs to be retaken. But basically, we're going to start preparing um, to invade the Mediterranean, North Africa, and Italy. Um, and get ready to push into Europe, clear the way, bring pressure in different places so we can pull off D-Day. But yeah, uh, that was 1941. I'm very excited uh, about where we're at. I feel very good. I feel very positive about where we're at. Uh, we can take these guys away because they're not... They're above the cap, right? Yeah, and then we'll drop them. And then we have 11 airborne divisions. Merge them in. Beautiful. Beautiful. We can probably raise our tanks up. Yeah, raise our tanks up and start our tank division. Make this the first armor core. Heavy tank brigades. I love it. Okay, that's actually the last thing I'm going to do this year. <laughs> okay, that was 1931, everybody. Or 1941, I'm sorry. My name is Redwald again, and thank you all so very much for watching. 
Uh, again, go com go check out the comment on the first episode with a lot of helpful um, technical advice, almost none of which I ended up following, possibly to my detriment. But I'm very again, I'm very happy with where we're at. I think we're doing great. And I'll see you next time for 1942, where things are really going to start ratcheting up. Okay, uh, I'll see everybody later. Thanks again for watching.